All right, how you guys doing out there in calculus land? This is Miss Muscarella coming at you with our last example for section 9.6 of the ratio and root test, where we're going to take a look at determining whether a series converges or diverges using the root test. Now, just what exactly is the root test? Well, it's going to look like the ratio test, except for we're going to be working with a root instead of a ratio. So, what you're going to want to look for is the same thing. Is you're going to have a series with non-zero terms, and then it's going to have the same uh, characteristics as the ratio test. And in the ratio test, with that, of course, if our series was, if we when we did the limit process, if that was less than one, if the absolute value of that was less than one, then our series would converge absolutely. However, if it was greater than one or or infinity, so if one of these two conditions were met, then our series would diverge, and if it equaled one, then we'd have to use some other test because the root test fails. Now, nth power, so that means you're going to have some root, maybe it's going to be n like that, or something to the 1 over n power. This is where you're going to take a look at using the root test. All right, so here we go with example number three. Now, notice in our example here, we've got something to the nth power right there. So we're going to go ahead and use the limit process to figure out what's going on with this thing. Does it converge or diverge, or does it just plain old inconclusive? Now, one of the things that you want to do with this is notice whatever your root is right here. In this case, we're taking the nth root. But notice we also have to the nth power. Now, if you take, so if you had, say, the fourth root of something to the fourth power, when you write that exponentially, exponentially um, you'll have the fourth power and then the one over four. So those just cancel out, which means these two things, boom, boom, they're going to cancel out, right? So when they cancel out, you'll just be left with what's left. Limit as n goes to infinity of n over 2n plus 1. Now, we can take away the absolute value bars because we're going to be dealing with the positive side of this. And check this out. We're only going to use the highest degree of n. This is n to the first power, which is also the same thing in the denominator, 2n to the first power. So since our exponents are both the same, then we just use the ratio of n over 2n, which gives us 1 half, which, of course, is definitely less than 1. So that tells us that our series is going to converge absolutely. So again, here's all the pieces that you have to put in your conclusion to make sure you get the points. Since the limit of blocks is less than one, our series is going to converge absolutely by the root test. Include all those things and you get the points. Otherwise, no points for you. Now let's take a look at example B, which is going to be similar. So in this case, we've got our series where we're going to have negative one to the nth power over natural log of n to the nth power. Since both of those are to the nth power, when we substitute that in there, of course, uh, what you want to do is kind of combine those since they're both to the same power. So now you can write it to the nth power. Now you take away the nth power because you're taking the nth root of it. So those guys, again, they will cancel out very nicely. When we take the absolute value of negative 1, that, of course, is just going to be 1 over natural log of n. Now, natural log of n, when you put infinity in there, so this is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as you do natural log of infinity when we make that substitution. And the natural log of infinity is going to be some humongous number. So you're going to have 1 over some humongous number, of course, that is going to go to 0. Now, 0, of course, is less than 1. And if we found the limit to be less than 1, then that means our series is going to converge absolutely by the root test. All right, that's it for this example. Thank you guys for watching, and that's it for section 9.6. You guys have a good day, good evening, and good night.